Hello everyone from Motion VFX. In this tutorial, we will see various techniques to add M Restyle effects on your video in DaVinci Resolve. M Restyle is an FX pack that will add energetic vibes to your videos. Once M Restyle has been installed with M Installer, you will find all the effects in the FX tab. Click on Toolbox, FX, and inside the Motion VFX folder, you will have access to the 50 M Restyle effects in five categories CCTV, Dreamy, Glitch, Graphic, and Retro. By skimming the cursor over the thumbnail, you can preview the effect with your selected clip. On the first shot, I've got an animated title from the M Title Hype Pack. I would like to add a nice graphical effect to mix the title with the video background. I will press the B key to activate the Blade tool and I will add a cut on the video clip. Then I will drag and drop the effect M Restyle Graphic number 5 on the second part of the video. I will select the clip and open the inspector. I will click on the FX tab where we will have access to all the parameters for this effect. Each effect has their own dedicated parameters. Here I can adjust the threshold, the brightness and change the color to orange. Yellow is clearly better, let's undo it. With the texture control, you can adjust the speed of the texture and the strength of it. As the effects are very complex, especially if you composite them with titles, and depending on your configuration, you may have some issue to play them in real time. You can easily resolve this by going into the playback menu and activate the render cache. I will select Smart. We can see a red line above my project in the timeline. We need to tell DaVinci Resolve to render the Fusion Effect Filter. To do so, just do a right click and select Render Cache Fusion Effect Filter and select the effect. It will cache the effect automatically and you will be able to play it in real time. The great thing is the fact that if you modify one parameter, it will cache it automatically. Let's move to the second shot. I would like to add the effect graphic number 4, a very nice result with this shot, but this time I would like to get the effect with a nice transition. To do so, I will use the adjustment clip. As I will use it a lot, a good tip is to set it as favorite by clicking on the star. So I will drag and drop it over my video clip. And this time, I will add the effect on the adjustment clip. Like this, the effect will be applied to all the elements below the adjustment clip. The big plus is the fact that you can adjust, trim, and modify the position of the adjustment clip without modifying your edit. So I would like to add a video transition, and I would like to add a non-additive dissolve. As you can see, it's not possible to add it directly. First, you will need to convert the adjustment clip to a cop-on clip by doing a right-click and select New Cop-on Clip. Now I can add any video transitions I would like to the effect. Next, I will add the graphic effect number 2 to the third clip. This one creates a nice LED screen effect with distortion. As I've said before, each effect has their own dedicated parameters. All the parameters can be animated. For example, with this effect, I will animate the distortion parameters. I will add keyframes on the first frame of the clip. I will modify the value of the parameters to increase the distortion of the effect. Then I go to the last frame of the clip and modify the values to remove the distortion. Now we have our distortion animation. Next, I've got two similar clips. I would like to show you that you can use adjustment clip to apply one effect to multiple clips at the same time. So I will drag and drop one adjustment clip over the two clips. I will drag the effect Dreamy number 8. This effect is great as it will fill some empty space by mirroring some part of the video. I will adjust the scale just a little bit. You have a complete control of the mirror's effects. You can disable them independently. With the color controls, I will boost the saturations to match with the other clips. And we are good. The effect will be applied to both clips. One another advantage using adjustment clip is the fact that you will have a direct control on the opacity. Let's see it in action with the clip 8. I will add an adjustment clip over it. And I will apply the graphic effect number 7 on it. This effect adds some sweet and drawing comics effects. 
Of course, we have a full control of the final effect. You can adjust the threshold parameters, the vignette effect, and adjust the size of the texture. And to bring this effect with a smooth dissolve, you can use the opacity sliders directly inside the timeline to adjust the timing of the dissolve. Next, let's see how to synchronize a glitch effect with the music. First, I will unmute the audio track and let's play the clip. Okay, I would like to add some glitch effect with this sound. So I will add an adjustment clip just over the part of the music. I will use the waveforms to help me for the in and out point. I will just have to add the glitch effect number 6 on it. To preview the effect, I will ask DaVinci Resolve to render the cache for this effect. And we can play it. For the last two shots, I will add some retro effect by using one adjustment clip. With the retro effect, you have many controls to adjust the grain, the scratch, or film damages. And restyle for DaVinci Resolve with stylize your edit with the 50 fully customizable effects. To go further with DaVinci Resolve and new effects, one address, motionvfx.com. And for more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.